Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're channeling messages from the angels for you. This is whatever the angels want you to focus on, what messages they have for you, what they need you to hear right now. This is a timeless reading, so whenever it happens to find you is exactly when it's meant to. Okay, whether this is the day I post it or whether it's years from now. So let's start out by getting some Archangel guidance here. And let's see who is making an appearance for you and what they want you to know. We have Archangel Michael bringing you in some patience. Of course, you're usually fairly good with that, but hey, we all have our moments, don't we? So Archangel Michael is giving you the strength to have some patience, okay? Reminding you that the mysteries of the universe work in wonderful ways and sometimes in our human experience, slow ways. It's really all about divine timing sometimes. Okay, so there may be an area in your life here, especially in regards to manifestation, okay, or to making improvements and progress in your world where you might be feeling a little bit frustrated, okay, or maybe you've been stuck for a while or feeling as though you're stuck for a while. There's probably a reason for that, maybe a lesson in life such as patience. So there may be something here where you do need to be a little bit more patient. Call on Archangel Michael to get the answers to maybe even highlight where that may be. We have Sandalphon coming in here as well, all about your evolution. Okay, so you are evolving, you are growing. Um, I think here for some of you that you are experiencing a time of um, incredibly profound personal and spiritual growth. This is a reminder to look back on how far you've come, especially when we have patience involved here. You may not feel as though you've made a lot of progress or you might not even feel as though you are, you're, you're where you want to be right now, but you have evolved, you have grown, you have made changes, you have come a very, very long way. So Sandalphon is here to really highlight that for you. Okay, that you are not the same person today as you were a month ago, six months ago, six years ago. Okay, that you have done a lot of hard work. You've done a lot of healing. Okay, and you have changed and you're embracing that change. Sometimes things take a little bit longer than what you anticipate or than what you prefer. Okay, because Aquarius, I think you have a wonderful ability to percolate to take a step back, to think about things, to mull things over a little bit, and to see the big picture, right? You're very open-minded, you're very willing to try new things. But sometimes, I think what happens here is when you are in those periods of quiet contemplation, and you are kind of, I call it percolating, I'm an Aquarius too, and my, uh, my dad always told me back in the day that uh, I was the world's greatest procrastinator. I said, no, I'm the greatest percolator because I think about things for a very, very long time before finally taking action. But once I'm finished percolating, I want to get going. I want to get things done. Okay. It's like, no, no, no. My time of inactivity is done. Now I need to make some moves. So, you know, to people on the outside, it looks impulsive. Okay. Or it looks as though I'm making rash decisions when in actual fact, I could have been sitting on something for a year. Okay, so I think here with the patience energy, I think once you make a decision, you are just very much ready to go. Okay, and sometimes the opportunities or the circumstances may not necessarily be 100% perfect right there. So sometimes we need to be a little bit more patient. It's like, no, I know what I want now, and I want it now. Okay, so patience very much is a virtue. But ultimately, whatever path you're on, Okay, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to achieve what we want to achieve. Okay, and don't doubt yourself along your journey, especially in regards to manifestation, because this patience energy really does highlight those three pyramids. And threes are about things coming to fruition. Quite often things that you've manifested, things that you are working towards in your world. So, you know, don't doubt that you've got something really powerful and really strong that is coming in for you or that is opening up for you. All right. And just maybe a little bit more patience is required. 
but ultimately with the evolution energy, this is a very light-filled time in your life. This is a time of personal growth, personal growth, expansion, the evolution of Aquarius. We are in the age of Aquarius, okay? And this is really your time to shine. So embrace the energy, go with the flow, connect with the universe, and all will be right for the world. We've got the three of Raphael there as well. Three is represented with this particular card with the Michael energy with patience and the three of Raphael very closely tied to your manifestations. The seven of Gabriel, justice, and the page of Michael. Now the page of Michael quite often in modern, um, modern tarot is very much associated with Aquarius. Um, page of Michael is associated with, it's the page of swords energy and it brings in innovation. It brings in new ideas, new challenges, new ways of doing things. And if there's anyone that is innovative and willing to change or to set the stage that other people's follow Aquarius, it is you. But we do have the three of Raphael here, the three of cups. So for one, Celebrate your successes, celebrate your achievements, celebrate how far you've come. Even if you're not exactly where you want to be at the moment, okay? Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Spirit really wants you and your angels really want you here to um, engage in high vibe activities. You know this, Aquarius. You don't need to be told this. Sometimes you might need a little bit of a gentle reminder and that is what your angels are doing here for you now. Be mindful of your thoughts and feelings. Think positive. Think big. Dream big. Okay, because you've got all these wonderful things that are evolving in your world. And really, your angels want you to be prepared to receive. But this may also represent a community of like-minded individuals that you may that may be around you. For one, um, sometimes a spiritual journey, if some of you are going through at this time of great personal and spiritual growth, Okay, sometimes it is a very solitary journey. So with the three of Raphael, it is this social energy. So there may be new people that you can, communities that you can join of like-minded individuals, like-minded souls um, that can elevate you, that can help you along your journey and that you by in turn can help them as well. There may also be somebody in your current social circle that may have a deeper understanding of you than you really know. Okay, sometimes, you know, we may have a whole group of friends and it's just that one friend that really kind of digs our vibe, really kind of gets who you are, really not kind of understands how you tick a little bit, which is differently than other people do. So there may be some support there. Okay, so remember, though, to get out and have some fun and to really embrace all of this wonderful high vibe energy, because ultimately you are in a position of strength of power. The seven of Gabriel is really all about your confidence, okay? This is really embracing your true self, your true you. You are a unicorn. You are unique, okay? Actually, that one's Pegasus in there, so spread your wings and fly, okay? This is your time. This is your time to really overcome and face your challenges, face any blocks or um, anything that is standing in your path, and you can um, knock barriers down here, okay? You can really take yourself and soar to new heights, all right? You can face your challenges head on and not let anything derail you from your goals, from your dreams, okay? So believe in yourself. We all have those ups and downs, okay? We all have those periods where we're just not feeling it, okay? Where we're feeling kind of stuck, okay? Or we're a little bit impatient, okay? We're starting to lose faith, lose hope, and so your angels here with the seven of Gabriel, seven of wands energy are really trying to instill and remind you of how powerful and how strong that you are. So be confident in all of your endeavors and everything that you do. And you may also need to stand up for yourself possibly. Okay. Or perhaps you stand up for others and Aquarius, you are awesome at standing up for other people for the greater good, right? The greater good for all involved. So perhaps part of your calling here, the seven of Gabriel, Pegasus is moving over here towards the three of cups, okay? So perhaps your calling, your path, okay, perhaps a door or an opportunity is presenting itself to you, okay, or has in the past where you are the advocate for other people, 
right? You're not just thinking about yourself, you're thinking of other people. And, you know, for all of the help that you've given to other people, for all of the assistance, there's something wonderful that's flowing back into your life. You're getting rewarded for your good deeds, okay? You're getting rewarded for all of the good and the wonderful energy that you've put out there. So believe in yourself and believe in the universe, Trust and have faith, but also have some patience as well. We do have the justice card here as well. Balance and equality for all. Okay, you are awesome at fighting for what is right, of standing up for yourself. Well, maybe actually you're probably better at standing up for other people than you are for yourself sometimes. Okay, not all the time, but sometimes. Okay, but the justice energy here really does bring in this energy of balance and fairness and equality and you know, this is also bringing in um, truth and honesty, okay? So be truthful with yourself, be honest with yourself, okay? But also there's some um, something coming towards you. I feel that you're possibly about to get some really good news. Something that maybe you've been waiting for for a while, okay? This could have something to do with uh, a situation that you've been trying to resolve, it could have something to do with, you know, a, a job prospect, a legal situation, um, you know, or even just getting closure on something. Okay, it may be something new, but I think here that you're about to get some sort of information or some sort of news. Okay, because the justice card is that Libra and energy balance, fairness, equality, okay, making good decisions, okay, keeping, you know, keeping your equilibrium there or even restoring balance in other areas okay you could actually be an incredible mediator by the way okay judge jury and uh you know the judge and the jury there that is all you okay because you have the ability to see all sides of the story and you're very very logical thinker sometimes right so you know um as Probably more so than some others. Yes, you can be stubborn. You know, you can be sometimes a little bit floopy. Okay. Um, you know, I've got some friends of mine that say, oh, yeah, there goes Vicky again. And, you know, up with the fairies. Uh, yeah, it's fun up there. Okay. Um, but I'm actually not. Um, I see everything. And I think here that people underestimate you. I think people misjudge you. I think people may see you sometimes as a little bit weird. Okay, or they just don't uh, don't quite understand you, but you see everything, you observe everything. Okay, but anyways, but I think uh, a little tangent there, but I think here that you are about to get some deeper insights, and I think that you are about to get some sort of um, interesting news or about or some information, because we do have the page of Michael coming in here. So for one, this can just be you and your innovative you, your innovative self. Okay, you trying new things, you're leveling up your. Um, you know, being really honest and truthful with yourself and others around you, okay? But you are incredibly perceptive in everything that you do. So you really do have what it takes to succeed in all areas in life, okay? And sometimes it's really just a matter of partnering up with the people that really do get you, okay? And who really just understand all of your quirks and your qualities, okay, because they really do benefit everybody, right? And you're not typically super selfish. You probably have moments because you need to be because we have to be selfish sometimes, right? But um, but I think here that you, you're, you're getting some sort of, I don't know if it's just really you embracing a, a zest for life, kind of letting certain things go, just living your best life while you wait for some doors to open up for you, okay, or whether you're discovering some sort of other information there, maybe you're just taking a logical approach. Sorry, camera cut off. So you may just be taking a logical approach to something there, but um, really pay attention to sign symbols and synchronicities though as well, especially with sandal fawn energy there with the evolution energy, okay, because I think there's going to be some very deep insights that uh, head towards you. There's going to be some very... Um, uh, very big signs, okay, that are thrown in your path. So just pay close attention to that. And there's your manifestation energy with your magician there right now. Your manifestations are coming to fruition with the magician and that three of Raphael, okay? So a little bit more patience may just be required 
for you. We've got the four of Raphael. No, 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 no. Don't give up hope, okay? Um, the queen of Gabriel there. That's the queen of wands. That's the energy that we want you to be in. Okay, confident, cool as a cucumber. And we've got the two of Raphael there. Things are coming together for you. All right, the bottom of the deck there, we've got the strength card. Okay, and this is Archangel Ariel that is represented with this one. And the strength card is really all about patience, perseverance, endurance, okay? The courage to change, the courage to, um, you know, stay positive, all right? But also this speaks to your inner strength, your self-confidence. This also represents to some of your core values of being kind and compassionate. And do you have your moments where probably you're not? Sure, of course you do. You're human. We all have that. To deny that is to deny being human. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, okay? So the learning curve of being union, uh, being human is fraught with all sorts of ups and downs. So don't beat yourself up, okay? The strength card really does give you that ability to forgive, to heal, to let go, okay? But it also gives you that inner strength, that confidence, okay? To make change, to persevere, to face adversary even as well, right? We've got that seven of Gabriel that's there in the strength strength card there is reminding you of that as well but we do have the magician showing up here okay so your powers of manifestation are very much at an all-time high so your manifestations here things coming to fruition okay be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings we do not want this no 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 okay the four of Raphael okay can quite often be one of you know being a little bit closed off, okay, getting fed up, okay, not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and we don't want to be closed off, we want to be open, we want to be in full-on receiving mode, so just a little bit of a heads up there from spirit, okay, we've got new beginnings for you, we've got improvements for you, we do have personal growth for you as well, okay, um, so remember to be open and receptive to see the magic, that exists all around you within you internally externally okay there's a lot of magic that's all around all right and i think you are very much a big picture thinker anyway you always thinking about the future okay and but sometimes things just ugh, sometimes we just get in that energy where things aren't just going our our way or things aren't hop, ha happening fast enough for us right so we start to get in this four of raphael the four of cups energy no baby no okay get rid of that because ultimately we want you to be very confident okay be very confident in the Queen of Gabriel energy that you can receive everything that your heart desires, that you can achieve whatever whatever you set your heart and soul to. Okay, the Queen of Gabriel is a very wonderful energy of following your passions, your goals, your dreams. Okay, it's very independent energy and you do quite often have a very independent spirit. Not always, okay, but you really do. You just, you are an independent thinker. Okay, you're a mover and a shaker sometimes, all right, but you also have an energy of discernment. I think you know when to sit, stand back, okay, but this Queen of Gabriel is spirit reminding you that you can achieve anything, okay, to keep the hope, keep faith, keep hope, trust yourself, okay, and don't let anybody ever um, discount your abilities or, you know, make you feel less than worthy on something all right go after what it is that you want okay you also have the ability to attract wonderful people into your world okay quite often um you know maybe some people who are attracted to you are looking for a little bit of enlightenment perhaps they're just drawn and they gravitate towards you because you're very sparkly Okay, sometimes you may come off as a little bit cold and standoffish sometimes, right? Because you might take a little bit, a little, a little time to warm up sometimes. Okay, but ultimately, you are very warm and fuzzy. You have a lot to offer. You have a lot to give. There's a lot of caring qualities that are about you. Okay, so you may sometimes attract really wonderful people in your life. And sometimes you attract people that need healing or they need help. They need assistance and guidance in some way. Something that you can only provide. So, but whatever you are attracting into your life, okay, this is all part of the greater good, all for um, things that are beneficial for you and your world and your expansion and your growth in some way. So believe in yourself and be confident, okay, we don't want this four of, we don't want this four of cups energy, okay, but there may be something here for you, some opportunity or some doors opening for you here with the four of cups, okay, that um, maybe you're just not seeing right now, maybe you're not meant to see it right now, it's something that's not quite here yet and spirit's really 
really just trying to give you a heads up that says, hey, I've got something awesome for you here. I may even be sending you a person who can maybe give you a little bit of inspiration or guidance or motivation somewhere along the way. But uh, spirit and your angels really need you to be open, okay, to that. There may also something be, there also may be something there that needs to be healed. Okay, and Aquarius, you um, have a lot of love to give. You're very loyal and but sometimes you don't really let people in right away. And sometimes it's just you're a little bit slow to warm up. Okay. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes that's part of why people misunderstand you. So um, Spirit's really trying to get you here to open up your heart space, to open up your heart chakra and to be ready to see the big picture or to see the opportunities that you can't quite see yet or to be a little bit open and receptive and welcoming of people or situations in your life. All right. Full on receiving mode is what uh, is what is headed your way. OK, that's what spirit really wants you to be aware of. OK, attach positive emotions to everything that you do and don't lose faith. OK, because ultimately here there is something here that you have manifested, something here that is coming in for you. OK, that is very beneficial for you. The two of cups does represent love and um, friendships and partnerships of all kinds. OK, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be your career, your friendships, your romantic relationships. OK, it can be family, um, but it can also be the connection with your higher self, balance and harmony. This is people in situations that speak to your heart and your soul. OK, this is kindred spirit kind of energy. All right. Um, this is people being on the same wavelength, the same vibration. So I think here that number one. You are really getting up to that um, energy of evolution with Sandal Fawn there, where you are very connected with your higher self and with spirit, okay, and with your angels and your guides. So I think there that your spiritual gifts are incredibly high right about now, okay, but your ability to attract the right people and the right situations and the right opportunities, the right kind of partnerships, I think your ability to attract them is very, very strong. Okay, so keep your vibe high because we want to attract all of the really wonderful things in your world. Okay, we don't want to attract things that you don't want for four of cups, right? You may be attracting something that you don't really care for and that you don't really want. So everything else though, okay, spirits, you know, really saying, hey, okay, hey, there's just this little heads up here. Okay, we're sending you something wonderful. Okay, and be open to receive it, but also be careful where you put your focus. Okay, be fair, be careful where you put your energy because wherever you're putting it right now, okay, you might not be um, putting it in the in the place of something that you're looking for. Okay, so attract attach those positive emotions to everything that you do, and your manifestations will hold greater weight. And make sure that you are focusing on the things that you want in your life, not the things that you don't want. All right, so um, because we quite often do that sometimes. Okay, so it's just a little bit of a heads up. But ultimately, you are a master manifester and a master magician. And whatever it is that you are looking for, you can create. So don't don't um, don't discount your own abilities there. Okay, you are incredibly talented. So let's get a couple last messages out here for you. These are guardian angel cards, and we'll just see last messages. Thank you for Aquarius. So we have here guilt. Hmm. Hmm. You do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love. Regardless of what you've done or what you think you failed to do from your soul's perspective, there's neither right nor wrong. Every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong. Okay. And we sometimes do harbor guilt for things that other people have done or things that we wish that we had done differently. Release, let it go. All right. Um, we also have acceptance here as well. There is nothing about you that you need to fix. Reclaim the disowned parts of you that yearn for love and acceptance. Interesting. We have a lot of heart energy coming out here. You are beautiful just as you are, regardless of any faults you may perceive you have. You are eternally radiant being of light. Accept all that you are and just be you. When you truly accept yourself, your whole world will magically and lovingly transform. 
I'm going to leave that there for you, Aquarius. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.